morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. Starting things off is a terrific program that celebrates young artists in our community. Seattle Theater Group's More Music at the Moore is a development program for musicians 14 through 21, giving them mentoring by well-known professionals and then collaborating on a final concert performance. Welcome young performers and three sisters, the group Save the Bees. Underneath the willow tree Where the good men lie But never sleep I sit here and hope But never dare to pray Orphans we all are Behind the curtain we fear to peek And we're all afraid to speak So they'll say amen He's got a plan It's destiny So I'm not sorry Underneath the willow tree Where the good men lie But never Never found, but I'd rather have broken pieces than a picture frame trying not to fall apart. So they'll say, Amen, he's got a plan. It's destiny, so I'm not sorry. Introduce everybody, your sisters, the rest of the band. Yes, yeah, so Brooke on vocals um, and Bailey on cajon. So it's not hard to get them to rehearse because you have access to them yes. all the time. Yes, full <laughs> access. Yes. Which is really nice. And Matt Chamberlain is here, the music director for More Music at the Moore. We may change your name to Moore, and that way we'd have just sure. the, the complete trifecta. Um, so you must be super excited. To, this is your first year as music director to have this, this kind of young talent. Yeah, yeah, it's really inspirational. It is, isn't it? And a little these. scary. They're yeah. so good yeah. and so young. Um, how did you come up with Save the Bees, which I love, actually, as a name for the group? Yeah, so um, our whole life we were kind of called the Bees because we're Brooke Bailey and Brenna yes. Bruce. Makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah, and then one time my, uh, my dad just pitched it because we were, like, playing and there's lots of bees around we were at a winery playing <laughs> and then he was like save the bees and just kind of stuck that's I think that's a wonderful yeah. thing and the music we sort of describe as Americana how mm -hmm. did you guys get into this genre yeah so we're from Arizona and our uncle plays music too and he kind of showed us kind of some old folk roots of like Americana yeah. and we just always gravitated towards that sound and there's something about that sound that's great with women's voices, too. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me of the Emmy Lou Harris's yes. and, you know, Gillian Welch's yes. and, and people <laughs> like that. You guys are really, really good. So how are people selected? How are these young people selected for this program? They go through an audition process, and they just pick the ones that <laughs> are the best. They seem to be yeah. really yeah. talented. Yeah. And so what is, it, what is it you want to impart to the youngsters the young people who are going through this program so that they are uh, lifted up musically by the time they end up mm -hmm. the program. 
Well, mainly it's just being able to um, collaborate with the other musicians that are there and also just to be inspired by each other and just work off each other. That's kind of the, the whole idea of it, I think. Right, and that's a and bit of a rare opportunity, yes, because oftentimes when you're just out selling music or mm -hmm. booking concerts, it's almost a competitive slot as opposed to getting together to share with other artists. Yeah, that really, that's exactly what's so special about it. And I've never got to work with like such a wide range of genres, and we've all kind of collectively put in so much time and like prioritized it, so it's been really fun. What is the mentoring like? Oh, it's so much fun, because, yeah, mostly we just try to figure out our own sound and stuff. It's fun to have people who are actually like, career musicians give us insight, and, yeah, it's been crazy. It, it, when you say crazy, crazy fun? Crazy fun. Crazy, trustful, lots of details. Yeah, a little intimidating for sure, um, but it's been really fun, yeah. Who are some of the professionals you've gotten to work with? So I've gotten to work with... Um, Faustine Hudson, mm -hmm. she's a crazy drummer. <laughs> um, <laughs> Most drummers are crazy. Most crazy, but that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. He's awesome. And then Giovino, he's like this Brazilian composer, pianist. It's been amazing, yeah. And, and that, that lets you expand a bit mm -hmm. in, in what you do. So when you're working with young people who are in a genre like this, what's the benefit of exposing them to other sorts of music and sort of having them experiment with how to put that through their filter? Well, I think they realize that all music is related and that if you're a, a country artist or a hip-hop artist or even jazz it's you know you can communicate with each other Absolutely. through through music you know and it's a universal language and there's a lot more in common than you know people realize with hip-hop and country music I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely you know. or classic and metal there are lots of things that musically are very similar even if they to the ear might not sound like they are mm -hmm. so what a cool time for discovery what do you guys want to do what are your career goals? Oh I think we just want to play music um, <laughs> hopefully it would be great to do it without you know f as a job but right now we're just playing like we like our live sound a lot so that's what we're focusing on. Well keep doing it don't stop. What are some of the other groups and artists involved in the program? Well there's um, like the different genres that are involved or there's a, a amazing hip-hop artist and I guess you would say you're Americana mm -hmm. and then there's um, a, a bass player that's doing a solo piece that's more jazz kind of exploratory and uh, a rock band, you know, kind of covers most of the Covers things. the waterfront? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll hopefully be seeing lots more of them as they go on in their careers. Thank you very much. Thank you all for performing this morning. Seattle Theater Group's More Music at the Moor is this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Where else? The Moor Theater. You'll find a ticket link on our website. Please go and help support these talented young musicians. And speaking of the Seattle Theater Group, the second annual King 5 Connected event is happening Tuesday, April 23rd at STG's Paramount Theater. The tickets are on sale right now. It is a great way to get to know dozens of different Puget Sound nonprofits, all while having, I promise, a great night out. We are talking about gourmet food, lots of desserts, craft cocktails, entertainment, lots more, all included in the ticket price. To attend this party with a purpose, please head over to king5.com slash connected with a K. When we come back, the inspiring story of the first American team to win the Stanley Cup, the Seattle Metropolitans. Author Kevin Tyson is here next.